while we've been watching through some of the posts going around on social media about the Black Lives Matters movement, I've noticed a lot of comments from people in my um, suburban community that we don't have those problems here, so there's no need for us to protest here. There's no need for our grocery stores to close down. There's no need for us to react on the level that there's getting a reaction around the country. And um, I felt like we had a voice because we've experienced some of the racial comments towards our family over the last 10 years. We've just noticed since we moved into the community that people didn't know how to approach our family, how to talk to our family. Um, they had lots of questions and curiosity about our family. Things like, where did you get your kids from? Are they adopted? Um, I had one gentleman at a garage sale come up to me and say, it's really nice what you're doing for those types of kids by taking them in. Um, we've had people ask us what part of Africa did they come from? Just various comments that even though they seem innocent and curious, they're so hurtful. My kids have experienced the same kinds of comments at school. Um, when they see them at school, they have made comments about the color of their skin. Um, they've been asked uh, if their skin had chocolate milk poured on it. They've been told they could go roll off, roll, roll around in the snow and get the brown off their skin. They've been called the N-word, which was the most painful part of any of our journey was the day that the, the N-word got dropped on my sixth grade son. They have faced more than they should have to face. I'm an educator and I'm a teacher and I, I deal with the same kinds of things in my classroom and I always try and take the perspective that this is a teaching opportunity because if a, if a kid is at a place to make a comment like that or if a kid is at a place where they are making uh, racial discrimination against somebody, then they, they need education, they need to be taught, they need to be shown a different path. So honestly, it's never angered our family. It hurts, but it has never angered our family. We've always taken it as an opportunity to teach and educate others that these kids are no different than anyone else. We're all the same. I mean, I'm white, my husband's black, my kids are brown. We still live our life no differently than the neighbors next door to us in our community. I have this really unique perspective as a white woman because I, I was raised no different than most of the white people and I know the white privilege I've lived my own life with. And it wasn't until I was married to a black man that I began to see what he experiences. There's tangible things we experience all the time and I didn't see it until I saw it through the lens of being married to it. It doesn't mean I get it because I don't experience it myself, but I've watched it intimately happen to the people I love. It's time for people to start saying that even if you don't understand, even if you don't experience it, you're listening and you're, you're trying to make a difference. You're trying to understand the people who do have a story.